All right, welcome to this video. This is G double R E Z. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing this Deer RC car that I got from Amazon, and I'm just going to show you the box right now, shortly, briefly. So yeah, this was about I think it was like 150 or 160 dollars on Amazon, and yeah, I thought it was a good buy. I was going to get one of like the mid range. Like 70 80 dollar rc cars but i don't think i would have had as much fun as with this this has a brushless motor as well uh it has a yeah full scale brushless motor 2.4 gigahertz radio control it's got a rechargeable battery the battery that goes into the rc car uh it's a four-wheel drive and it has a metal differential and yeah that's what i just read off All right, so let's go ahead and just cut this open. All right, so this is what I'm looking at right now. It has a caution card in there. And let's pull this out, actually. All right, and nothing left in the box. So I'm gonna put that aside. This is actually pretty cool. It comes with a little pouch. So that's awesome. You can put some accessories in here. Um, inside the pouch, there's this plastic... Oh, there's a little brush that it comes with. So I guess to clean the... What I'm thinking is to clean the RC car. Maybe after uses to clean it up. And in this bag... This is where you'll see all the spare parts. So I'm going to... Uh, first of all, okay, here's a little screwdriver that it comes with as well. So yeah, the screwdriver, the brush, and then and then this little metal uh, hex key or whatever you want to call this. Uh, so yeah, those are the three tools that it comes with. And then after that, it's the this USB cable to charge the battery for the car. I believe it comes with two batteries, but we'll find out here in a bit. And then the little hardware. And this thing is actually smaller than the RC car that I had. Oh, and it comes with two bodies. So that is pretty cool, actually. Two bodies. This yellow one looks pretty sick, but I like red with black as well. It's pretty, pretty classic color combination there. And, oh, as I was saying, this is smaller than the RC car that I had. But it does feel like a lot, like just heavy, like heavier. And I believe this also has, uh, I think it has a plastic cover on the body. We might need to take that off. All right, so what's left in the box here, let's flip it around, is the controller. And I'm not sure if I have enough batteries. I forgot to buy batteries. Now let's actually look here. Three AA batteries. So yeah, I do have enough, thankfully. And yeah, this is the controller itself. So, and it has a little sticker on there. So yeah, of course, this wheel for steering. Feels pretty nice. This foam piece moves around as well. You can move it around. And uh, what else does it have? The on off switch right here in the back. And then uh, this is the speed switch how fast you want it to go and the steering trim you might need to mess with that because I've been looking at all the videos that the uh, like out of the box you need to kind of mess with the trim but yeah that is what the controller consists of and then of course the throttle or reverse and my batteries work thankfully I'm gonna need to buy some in the future because I think these are used so we're gonna go ahead and take these these pins out. Let's set those aside. And should be able to just lift out. There you go. And let me make sure it doesn't have a plastic. Oh yeah, it does. So yeah, if you want it to look extra shiny, you're gonna wanna take this plastic cover off. Or this uh this film. And yeah, that looks a lot better. 
it looks really nice and i believe yeah the other one has the plastic film as well all right and in here so actually it comes preloaded with the battery in the rc car and then it comes with the extra battery in the uh, little bag so yeah here's the other battery and now if we keep looking in this little pouch and it even has a logo here the deer rc logo so that's pretty cool So yeah, here is just some more, some more parts here, and let's actually open this up. So it looks like uh, it has a hex key in there, and then some screws, and this, I have no idea what this is, guys, but it comes with, it comes with four of these, like, red ring, red ring things. So yeah, and then we have these plastic like gears, is what they look like, and and then these like uh, little tiny metal gears. So yeah, it has those. So I just plugged in the battery, and it looks like this other connector here that is loose, that is coming from the battery. It looks like that's how you charge charge it with this thing. And yeah, it looks like it goes right in there. So yeah, so whenever you're ready to charge, it should look like that and it should snap in place. So yeah, let's take this off. Dude. All right, oh geez. Oh God, I have all the spare parts down there. It's running over all the spare parts. All right, so let's go ahead and Put the body that it originally had on. So, oh, and here's the front bumper. So, yeah, it's this way. So, let's go ahead and place these pins back. All right, there it is. You can really hear like, uh, I can hear like the metal clanking. Like that sounds really nice actually. Oh my God. All right, so I found out what those red rings were for. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So all the screws that came in that bag with the hex key, it's gonna be for the, for the screws. Yeah, it fits in there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and slap all four of these uh, Where's the other one? I'll find it in a bit. But yeah, I'm gonna slap all four of them on the wheels. And I guess what that does is, what I'm thinking is it gives it more more weight to it. That's what I'm thinking. All right, and I just installed all of those rims. Um, you'll notice that I don't have all the screws on yet because I wanna distribute the weight properly. Uh, but, you know, these, these are on there. And I'm just gonna finish them off here in a bit. But I just wanted to show you guys how these turned out. So yeah, that looks really sick. That really transforms the look of the RC car. And I feel like it also helps with, uh, like I was saying, maybe it adds more weight or it keeps it grounded. Maybe it doesn't make that much of a difference, but I like to think it does. But yeah, 